St. Pete was recently named the most dog-friendly city in America. So to celebrate, we're gonna go find some dogs. We got around 50 dog treats and a list of the most dog-friendly spots in and around St. Pete. So we're gonna take you to as many restaurants, breweries, dog parks, and dog beaches as it takes to get rid of all of them. But the catch is we can only give one treat to each dog, and of course their owner has to allow it. Now this could end up being a really long day, so let's get going. Welcome to Exploration. We're Jamie and Skylar, and we love to show you around Florida, the Caribbean, and beyond. But every now and then, we like to switch things up a bit, and this is one of those videos. So if you want to see Florida and Caribbean content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. But if you're just here for the super cute dogs, then you've still come to the right place. We begin our day full of dogs by heading to the pier. So we made it to the pier and already on the way here we saw like 10 dogs. But we're on our way to the pier head right now to grab some iced coffee and hopefully make some more dog friends. So we did get our iced coffee, but we also tried something new. This is an Earl Grey latte, never had one before, and it is delicious, so we would highly recommend it. Now that we had our coffee, we made our way to the top of the pier head, hoping we could spot a few dogs from above. So we made it up to Pier Tiki on the pier head, but believe it or not, we cannot see a single dog from up here. But I think it's because we showed up a little too late. We have been out here around sunrise before and the place has been full of dogs, but today it's already 9.30 and it's already starting to heat up. So we're guessing the dogs are hanging out somewhere cooler. While we spotted no dogs, we did at least spot some parrots while leaving the pier. There's three up here to the left and at least five on this bench to the right. What do you think? Can we count it? I don't think so. <laughs> Thankfully, our next dog spotting was a real one, as we were lucky enough to meet Chewy. We learned that Chewy was adopted from Puerto Rico, and he was more than happy to show us one of his tricks in exchange for a treat. Next, we met this pretty girl, Praline, who was enjoying a cool drink in the shade and was eager to earn a treat to go with it. Glad to have at least found a couple dogs on the pier. We were off to our next location, where we were hopeful we'd find many more dogs. Along the way, we met Velen and Kala, and although they weren't hungry, they were happy to pose for the camera. We passed a couple more dogs along the waterfront before arriving at our next destination, the Noi Park. We found the beautiful Bayfront Park to be pretty empty, although we did spot a couple more dogs. But we were confident that we'd find several dogs at the North Shore Dog Park, and that's where we're headed next. Upon arrival, we were a bit relieved to find several dogs enjoying this massive park. But what we hadn't accounted for were the rules pertaining to food, so we'd have to give away our snacks outside of the main play area. Here we met Jasmine and Kira, who were happy to help us get rid of a couple of treats. Next, we met Precious and Daphne. So this is Precious. Precious. All right. And then we've got Daphne here. These girls were easily two of the chillest dogs we met. Next, we met Finley, who is a fan of Skylar's and treats. And last, but certainly not least, we met Balder, who was willing to take a break from his after-park shower to enjoy a treat. So we're getting ready to leave North Shore Dog Park, and there were a ton of dogs here, but our dog treat count is only up to eight because we couldn't feed the dogs that were actually in the park. But we were hopeful our luck would change at our next spot, located just to the northwest. We arrived at Crescent Lake to find a mostly empty park, but we were delighted to find this sweet girl named Jordan. And while Jordan was happy to chill, Dixie was eager to play and to show us her dancing skills. Oh, you worked really hard for that. You earned that one, Dixie. You did. We just left the Crescent Lake Dog Park, and while it wasn't nearly as busy as the North Shore Dog Park, we did meet one fun and energetic dog named Dixie. Now it's around noon and we're getting hungry. Our next spot is known to have some good food, and hopefully it will have some dogs too. Located at the corner of Central Avenue and 13th Street, dogs and their owners will find a lot to offer at Ferg's. The iconic bar and grill offers two fenced-in play areas, 
one for small dogs and another for large ones. Large dogs will have access to a pool and even a fire hydrant. And while there were no dogs to feed at Ferg's on this day, there was plenty for us to drink and eat. We went with an order of wings and a burger. And while the burger was huge, the wings were our favorite. Our next dog spot took us just a few blocks west, where you can find one of our favorite spots, Pinellas Ale Works, home to the Thursday night yappy hour. Known as Paw for short, this brewery has dog-themed decor, dog-themed merchandise, dog-themed beers, and yes, even real dogs. We couldn't have been happier to cool down with some great beers and also to chill with Skippy and Reslin. These dogs were super friendly and more than happy to help us reach our goal of feeding 50 dogs. Our next stop took us just a few more blocks to the west where at the corner of Central Avenue and 23rd Street, you'll find the dog bar. Perhaps the most impressive dog hangout in all of St. Pete. Our trip to the dog bar began in the on-leash area, where the first dog we met was Jax, who we learned had made the trip all the way down from Jacksonville. Next we met Diesel and Junior, who were both ridiculously cute and polite. And we can't forget this happy girl named Paulina, who we met just before moving into the off-leash area. Here we found easily the most dogs of any spot we visited on this day. Whether you have a dog or just enjoy watching other people's dogs, odds are you'll find the dog bar to be incredibly entertaining. Whether you prefer big dogs, small dogs, chill dogs, or playful dogs, you'll find them all right here at the dog bar, in addition to a full service sports bar. If you or your dog wish to visit the dog bar, be sure to check out dogbarsaintpete.com where you can register your dog online. So we just left the dog bar and as expected, there were a ton of dogs there. But something we probably should have considered is that you can't actually bring dog treats into the off-leash area. So even though we saw at least 25 dogs at the dog bar, we we're only able to give treats to the few that we saw in the on-leash area. So even though today we have seen way more than 50 dogs, our dog treat count is only up to 14. So we've got a long way to go. So many of you already know that we are always on the go and live in a small apartment. So for those reasons, we don't have a pet right now. And as a result, we had to reach out for some help to locate the best St. Pete dog spots. Thankfully, we got some great suggestions from the people we met out and about today, and also from the people on the I Love St. Pete Facebook group. And actually, our next spot is a recommendation from that Facebook group, and it was quite a surprising one. So here we are at the Home Depot. No dogs, but there's a lot of tile. Do you want to do a tile project? <laughs> no. Not ready for another one of those yet? Someday. <laughs> So we made a lap around the Home Depot and while it is nice and air conditioned, we have not seen a single dog. And we're starting to wonder if the person who recommended this place is messing with us. So let us know in the comments, is the Home Depot actually a place where people bring their dogs? After our strike out at Home Depot, it was time to hit the beach. This led us to Pasagro, a beautiful community on the far south end of St. Pete Beach. This is the Pasa Grill Dog Beach, but, oh boy, as we were driving out here, a storm started rolling in, so it really seemed that people were clearing out. There are a few dogs still here, though. And one of those dogs seemed particularly excited to see us. Meet Polly. Polly loves making new friends at the beach, and lucky for us, he also loves treats. And I think it's safe to say that Polly loves the camera too. 
Unfortunately, both Polly's and our beach day was cut short, and we were soon back in the car searching for more dog spots. This led us to the far north end of the island, where we made a quick stop by the St. Pete Beach Dog Park, which unsurprisingly was empty during this storm. Not gonna lie guys, our dog challenge has been quite a failure so far. We've only given away 15 dog treats. We were really hoping to find more dogs at the dog beaches today, but by the time we got to the Passive Girl Dog Beach, the storms were already moving in, but we're not giving up hope yet. And lucky for us, right next to the St. Pete Beach Dog Park, we found Nico's. Once inside Nico's, we found lots of old school games and a cool retro vibe. And after a quick game of Miss Pac-Man and Drinkorama, it was time to enjoy a drink while lamenting our failed mission. But thankfully, Bullet arrived, and was immediately the most well-mannered guy in the bar. Of course, this earned him a treat, which he did seem to enjoy. But because treats taste much better off the bar, Bullet talked us into a second one. Our next stop took us north to the Bay Pines Marina, where you'll find a dog-friendly tiki bar named Harbor Master, where we were excited to grab some dinner and hopefully meet a few more dogs. We were immediately pleased with our decision to visit Harbor Masters, as we loved the vibe and, of course, the cheap beers. And the food didn't disappoint either, as the blackened fresh catch nuggets were seasoned just to Skylar's liking. And while I did enjoy the nuggets too, I was really impressed by the size of this chicken sandwich. But let's get to what we really came here for, the dogs. The first of who we met was Hercules. We learned that Hercules is a bit famous at this bar and also oh so lovable. And we can't forget little Marley, who may be small in size, but is big in personality and also ridiculously cute. So we ended yesterday feeling a little bit defeated because even though we saw over 70 dogs, we were only able to give away about 17 dog treats. Now part of that was due to the weather because it was really hot during the day and then that storm rolled in pretty early. But a big part of it was also due to the fact that we weren't even able to give treats away in the two spots where we saw the most dogs, North Shore Dog Park and the Dog Bar. Now because we have so many dog treats left and we didn't even have time to go to one of the most recommended spots for dogs in the area, we decided to take you to one last spot today. And that final spot had us heading back to the beach. With the temperatures rapidly rising on this August day, we sure were glad that the final stop on our search for dogs took us back to the water. And after a 25 minute drive from downtown St. Pete, we had arrived at the Fort DeSoto Park. Here, visitors can find spacious dog parks for big and small dogs alike. But there was no doubt that the main attraction on this day would be the dog beach. And that's exactly where we were headed. We quickly realized that this beach was the place to be as it was filled with both dogs and people. And we can't think of a better spot for a dog on a hot Florida summer day. Skylar quickly made his way into the water while I hung back with the dogs on the beach. Skylar soon had some company out in the water as these dogs were eager to show off their swimming skills. But all that swimming sure worked up an appetite, and these dogs named Lacey and Leo were ready for a treat. Next, we met the lovely Annabelle, who enjoyed a treat and some water to chase it down. And while we never met the owner for this guy, he sure was entertaining. Speaking of entertainers, meet Shelby, who loves to play fetch and also show off her dance moves. That's so good. <laughs> And then there's the cute and curious Luna, 
Are you ready for a treat, Luna? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, we met sweet Teddy. Her name's Teddy. Ooh, okay. she shakes. Needing a break from the sun, we made our way to the beach path in search of shade and more hungry dogs. Here we met our youngest dog of the weekend, Coda. And man, was he a cutie. And then we met bright-eyed Biggie on his way to the beach. What's your dog's name? Biggie. You are so patient. So as we expected, there were a ton of dogs out on Fort DeSoto today, and there's no doubt that is the place to be if you want to bring your dog to the beach. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to give away all 50 of our treats on the beach, but we did make it halfway, and we really enjoyed meeting some dog owners and some cool dogs. So thank you to everybody that we talked to today and yesterday to make this video possible. And while Skylar gives away the rest of our 50 treats, I want to know a little about you all. I ask that you take a moment to leave us a comment to let us know if you have a pet. If so, let us know what kind and what their names are. And if you enjoyed this video or enjoy beach and travel content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching.